influence with God. Test of Faith By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 8 God selected Abraham as his messenger through whom to communicate the light to the world. The word of God came to him, not with the presentation of flattering prospects in this life of large salary, of great appreciation, or worldly honor. Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will shew thee. This was the divine message to Abraham. The patriarch obeyed. He forsook his country, his home, his relatives, and all pleasant associations connected with his early life to become a pilgrim and a stranger. Abraham might have reasoned and questioned the purpose of God in this, but he showed that he had perfect confidence that God was leading him. He did not question whether it was a fertile, pleasant country or whether or not he should have ease. He went at God's bidding. This is a lesson to every one of us. There are those who may be in favorable positions in all the things of this life, but God may have a work for them to do elsewhere, a work that they could not do among their relatives and friends. The very position of ease and the relatives who surround them may prevent them from developing the very traits of character which God would have them develop. But God sees that to change their position and to send them where their surroundings will be entirely different will be the very best place for them to develop a character which will glorify Him. This reading was taken from the book In Heavenly Places, Test of Faith. All of us know about the patriarch Abraham. He was called to leave his home country to a land that he did not know. If you were in his place, would you have accepted that call? Maybe so. But we would ask, where are we going? How much will they pay me? How much will it cost? How is it? Is it beautiful or ugly? The order was, go from your land and from your kin to the land that I will show you. That was the message for Abraham. When God asked Abraham to leave his friends and family, it was because God had something greater prepared for him. He left because of the command of God. This is a lesson for each one of us. Commodity, money, friends, family are good, but maybe that comfort makes us separate from God. That comfort, that easiness, stops us from fighting for our spiritual life. Maybe we live in a good and comfortable way. We may have everything stable, but God could have a different plan for you. A work that you cannot do where you are. The same comfort and family that surround us hinder us from forming good traits of character. God wants to put you in situations where you will feel the necessity of Him. You might possibly already be there. Maybe you are asking yourself, why did I have to travel? Why did I have to leave this or that? Why am I here? Maybe you're far from your family. If it is the work of God, then there is a reason for it. What we need to do is wait and testify as Abraham did, who carried his religion wherever he went, who built an altar wherever he went. You also need to do the same. We are called to be a light unto the world. Faith is seen by works. May the world that surrounds us and the people that look at us see Jesus reflected in us. And if you are in any difficult situation, trust that with the help of God, you will be an overcomer and one day be in heavenly places. Visit www.biblewell.com.